always break your own record. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for somebody to be at your level before you move on again. So welcome to the Gambia. One thing at a time and inshallah, God willing, you will succeed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I am coming at you straight out of the Gambia. We are in West Africa. The Gambia is known for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's beautiful beaches. Oh my goodness. Two, the Gambia is known to have really friendly people as well as the country itself is a very peaceful place. Uh, we all know that, but how much do you know about the real estate in the Gambia? Well, stay tuned in because this is the right episode for you. This is gonna be good. Today, I am bringing you to one of the most beautiful estates in the Gambia. I am giving you a tour of the homes. Hopefully, we will get a chance to talk to the man behind this project. So stay tuned in, I am super excited. Yeah, let, let's let's go in. How do I look? Where's my outfit? <laughs> and my hair? Anyway, today it's about the house, not about me, so let's go. Guys, guess who I am with? It's me, Maimuna Penda Job. I am a YouTuber here in the Gambia and also work at Tough Africa Global under the property management team. What we do is manage properties like this and make sure that the properties are well kept. We also do rentals, apartments, and a lot. So make sure if you're in the Gambia, you come to Tough Africa Global for the best housing estate. Wherever you go in the Gambia, we are the best. So here is one of the beautiful houses that we have. It's a villa, a five bedroom house, very luxurious. You have the, a huge kitchen you have a huge dining area and also a living room with five bedrooms this is such an amazing house so make sure when you're in the Gambia you come to Tough Africa Global if you want a house like this well what kind of, what other kind of houses do you do? do you only do villas no we don't only do villas villas is just one of the many type of houses we do mm -hmm. we make sure we cater for all kinds of people some people ha need large houses that is like this villa we also have people that ha that want smaller houses with small families we also cater for people that come for holiday with apartments studio apartments two bedroom apartments fully furnished with services that you would not get anywhere in the gambia if not tough africa global so look at how big this house is you guys this house is huge Oh my goodness. So what do you guys think? Drop a comment and let me know. I love how um, we have beautiful vegetation here. This is very, it's like a desert, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have, um, what do we call this? Cactus. Cactus growing over here. On the other end, it's like a rose garden. Extremely beautiful, different types of flowers and roses. And as if that's not enough, on the side, it's very tropical. A mixture of everything in one home. It's incredible. I know you guys can't wait to go in, so come with me. You guys are not even ready, okay? First of all, look at these huge doors. I love huge doors. I don't know about you, but the doors are they make a statement, okay? So now let's proceed and go in. totally stands out is the art on the wall you cannot help but admire the beautiful art on the wall the second thing is the furniture you can tell that the furniture is very very unique you know these are not the kind of seats that you see every day um the room is just fantastic you guys wow, the sitting room is huge and i love how it's white walls you know white walls help uh, have the 
the effect of making a room look more spacious. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Here we have the dining area, huge dining, and the other fact that you have a view of the backyard from this room. We have the stairs leading upstairs, but before we go upstairs, uh, let's come into the kitchen. Oh man, oh man, this house is so beautiful. It's hard to decide, but I honestly feel like the, sit the kitchen is my favorite room. I don't know if it's just the red and white, you know, everything in the kitchen is red and white. Red, it's just so unique. I have never seen a kitchen like this, and I just love it so much. A red fridge, what? This has inspired me. I think I'll probably do this for my house. Thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> of course, in the kitchen, you have everything you need in the kitchen. You have your washing machine, you have your inbuilt cooker, um, you have your microwave, you have your coffee maker, your kettle, your toast. And the space is huge, which is very special. You have your pantry as well. I'm coming in. I want to show you the powder room. Yes, the powder room. Um, this is a powder room. I feel like this is the best smelling room of the house. It smells so good, you guys. You don't even really understand. I will stay here for hours. I just need my phone to chill with in the bathroom, okay? <laughs> now, how do you say that? Do you guys want to see the backyard? Should we take it to the backyard? Okay, come with me. We really know that you wish. It's my command. The backyard does it for me. What? What are you talking about? Hey, Gambians. So you guys live like this, huh? In case you're in the diaspora and you're thinking of moving to the Gambia, well, think no further. You have beautiful homes for you. Homes that are very secure, that are very modern, that are very beautiful. I hope if you're, you've not been to Africa, you're not thinking, oh guys, live on trees, gone are those days. You can see they have really modern homes in the Gambia, world-class houses, big, and this place is very safe, they have security, so you have nothing to be worried about, okay? So welcome to the Gambia. We've got somewhere you can chill here, you know, have yourself some coffee, do some beadwork and all. And on this end, you've got like a flower garden. What different types of flowers? I love the fact that this backyard is extremely spacious. Um, look at that. You've got your grass over there. How beautiful is this, you guys? How pretty. Oh my goodness. So the point of this, basically, they want this to grow into a, you know, covered with flowers. And this is what the house looks like from behind. Yes, guys. Big house. Extremely beautiful. And of course, you can always access the front of the house from this side or from the far left or from within the house. Okay, just beside the house here at the backyard, we have an SQ. Are they, oh, this is an SQ? This is a boy's quarters. Uh -huh. But as you can see, the lady made it a, an outside kitchen. In the Gambia, in most houses, you have outside kitchens because there are certain foods you want to cook. You don't want to cook it inside. So you would have an outside kitchen. So come in. Oh, so this is common in the Gambia to have a kitchen uh, separate from the one in the main house? In the main house. Probably the one in the main house, you would just do light foods like breakfast, dinner. But when it comes to lunch, mm -hmm. here in the Gambia, lunch is always very big. Even if you have a small house, because anyone can come in and eat. That is a culture. So you always cook a huge amount of food. So because anyone can pop in. Here, you don't need to have an invitation to come to someone's house. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. You can just come in and once you are here, they will ask you if you want lunch, can you have lunch? Because we believe everyone, as far as the food is ready, everyone shares with, with, with one another. So that is why we cook a huge amount when it comes to lunch. Mm. That is why we always have a kitchen like this from the outside where you can cook huge amount of food and also when you have 
cultural events like weddings, naming ceremonies. You don't want to cook inside, so you cook in places like this. Mm, nice. So this is house. Ah, so this can be like a house for the watchman yeah. and anyone else. Yeah, or, or a store maybe where you store things that you don't want to put inside. Oh, nice. That is why we always like houses that are very big. So that you oh, patient. so Gambians have big houses. Big houses. In case you didn't know, <laughs> now you know. Gambians have really big houses. We love big houses. If you're selling apartments or small houses, mm -hmm. well, people would, would like it because we want things like this. You want big things. Yes. Hey, she, so Gambians don't play small or oh, hey, you go big things. or you go home. Yes. <laughs> oh guys, I don't know about you, but it is the art for me. Look at this beautiful African woman. What this is one of the most beautiful photos I have seen. We have that and we have this as well. How beautiful. The interior deco in this house is just on another level. On this side, guys, um, she has put, what do you call this? This, oh, you it's, mean the net? Yeah, it's like a net. It's the mosquito net. Yeah, just to prevent, I guess, mosquitoes from getting into the yeah. house. So in case you're wondering why it's so dark, um, that's why. But they are sliding windows, you know, very modern. And of course, on the floor, you've got tiles. The ceiling is white ceiling. The whole house is literally, you know, white which is really good it um gives the house uh you know what is it called the effect of white in a room to make it spacious exactly it makes the room more spacious Guys, this is the view from the corridor up here of the backyard. It looks so lovely, don't you think? Wow. Jerry Jeff for watching. In case you guys don't know what that means, that is how you say thank you in the Gambia, right? Yeah. See? See, you guys can thank me later. I'm so sorry guys, you couldn't go upstairs because of privacy. Um, yeah, but it's a five bedroom house. Uh, upstairs, it's basically the bedrooms and it is in suits um like almost all the bedrooms are in suits um yeah it's a really beautiful house let me know what you think about it drop a comment and let me know now let us see if we can find the owner so you have told me that um this estate has how many houses more than 400 houses what? Yeah, close to 500 houses and it's a sold out estate really? meaning all of the houses have been sold mm -hmm. and people have been living here for more than 10 years more than 10 years yes wow so what what if someone wants a house like this do you have other houses like this sure you have houses like this at this moment we have a villa two villas going out for sale and also we do have resale compounds people that would buy and then want to sell it again they will mm -hmm. give it to us and then we will sell it for them okay so there's a possibility of you getting a house here in Burford Gardens yep hey guys uh, so right now I am with a man behind the beautiful estate that you have seen hello sir hi Trudy how are you not bad <laughs> you're so casual <laughs> I'm trying to be so official and you're so casual it's nice to meet you what was the reason why you decided to build the estate but it's demand driven i mean any business i go there must be a demand and i saw a demand at the time and that is why i built it okay yeah there was a demand and there's still a demand how many houses are in the estate this one Bruford gardens we have 600 houses built here wow 600. why the name Bruford gardens because Bruford is the village you know, and always what I do when I go to a place, I want to leave ownership with the local residents. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to come up with a new name. Mm -hmm. So Brookfoot is the village. Everybody knows Brookfoot, which is more like a town now. So to make to differentiate with the town itself, I just add a garden there. So it's okay. Brookfoot Gardens. Roma has it that in Brookfoot Gardens, you have named the houses after women. 
like your sisters, uh, some of the women working in your office. What is the reason? And is it true? It is true. It is true. Actually, every I do, everything I do, like you've seen my office, I told you once I think that I'm a ladies' man. <laughs> Fortunately. So, um, everything I do is I, I, I do it with women. So, uh, I just wanted to give them the honor. So, every house here is named after a lady. It's not only for gardens. All the houses I build in Gambia, all the houses are named after ladies. So, so yes. That, that's so encouraging. Um, what do I need to do to have a house named after me? Ah, oh, Trudy, when you get married to, to Maya. On your wedding day, so Maya, please move fast. <laughs> On your wedding day, I will have a house named Trudy. Oh, so be ready for so that. Nice. That's my wedding <laughs> gift. That was so nice. Thank you. So um, what, uh, how can one person build so many houses? I don't know. I just being here for the last 10 days, I feel like I had to. Like it was in God's plan because you have inspired me more than you would ever know. I'm very encouraged. You have achieved so much. Mate, you have no idea. And I don't know. How can I feel like you're one person and you have done so much and it's very inspiring. Actually, you know, I don't think I've done much yet. And and that is why I'm on a on a, on a fast track. Mm -hmm. I've worked out, as you say in my life, I've said this and over and over and over again. At sixty five now, I think probably I can have another active fifteen years. Mm -hmm. And fifteen years is not much. So whatever speed that I have been using for the past 65 years, mm -hmm. I need to double it up or even more. So that's why everything I am doing, I'm doing it very fast. Okay. And more so when I'm trying to develop so many houses in so many countries. When I, when I, when I started this vision, actually, I honestly tell you, I sleep less now. Mm -hmm. I tried to retire when I hit 60, <laughs> some five years ago. But you know, retirement, what did I do? You've seen my house. Yeah. So I will sleep till 10 o'clock get up in the morning, sit on the balcony, have my breakfast. I'm just gazing there looking at the water. And, but you know, so many ideas are coming in and I just found myself a bit idle. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have to jump up again and you know, with extra energy. I want to do more than what you young ones are doing. That's encouraging. Would I be correct if I said you're the face of real estate in the Gambia? We're the first in private real estate development and we're the biggest. Amazing. Yeah, we're That's the very encouraging. Thank you. I've always wanted to own houses in Kenya. I have a couple and you know now being with someone like you makes me feel like I'm dreaming small, you know, like I'm I'm really encouraged. Dream big, dream big. You know, you know, you know, let me tell you, I, I learned, I get inspired, you know, with the Dubai vision. Mm -hmm. And you know what they do in Dubai, this chef, what they do is anytime they do something, they think it's big, wait for the next one that they're doing. Wow, it's bigger than what they've done. Yeah. And I think for me in life that what it should be, you know, always break your own record. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for somebody to be at your level before you move on again. Mm -hmm. Once you've covered one, take the next big step and make that big difference. Okay, so how many um, houses have you built in the Gambia so far? In total, uh, we've built about a thousand in, uh, in Port Harcourt and here we've built a thousand five hundred. So total houses built is about two thousand five hundred houses. Okay, final question. What is the one advice you'd give uh, to anyone who wants to start a real estate business in the Gambia uh, or even someone who wants to, is looking for a home? Well, if you're looking for a home, the best way is to come to Tash. <laughs> you will find one. <laughs> but, but uh, you, know, you know, buying a home, there are a lot of things you need to put in account. Not only in Gambia, but anywhere. First, what is your budget? What is the purpose of it? Why are you buying a home? Are you going to live there? What size is your family? Is it for investment? There are a lot of questions you need to ask yourself and tick all those boxes. Mm -hmm. Then come to a decision. What is it that you can afford? You know? So once you do that, you will find the answer. Plugging in the type and house, the price, the size and location. Then anybody who wants to go into real estate business like any other business, make sure please that you understand the, the, the terrain very well, you understand the business very well and um, uh, be ready to learn from others and then take things one thing at a time okay what is your final word what uh just inspire people on my channel given that you started small and now you're doing so well just encourage people. rome was not built in a day and what you young ones have is that you think that oh i should start now and just be like mr mustafa no be ready for failures you will start and you will fail and don't give up. 
if you believe in yourself, you believe in your passion, uh, just move on. You know, one thing at a time, and inshallah, God willing, you will succeed. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you are inspired. If you are, drop a comment and let us know.